I have a word. Don't waste your time trying to please people who have already rejected you. A lot of times people spend their whole life trying to please people who have already rejected you. I remember many moons ago, there was a, a man who told me that he didn't like my hair. And I would always try to fix my hair a certain way. And the man still didn't like my hair. He had already rejected me. And here I wasted time trying to fix my hair a certain way for him. Do not spend another day trying to please people. God said that if you please man, how can you please him? You can't be a servant of his if you're trying to be a people pleaser. So when you are already rejected, that's actually a good thing because then you don't have to waste your time anymore trying to please that person or you already know where you stand with that person. Yes, forgive them, but move on. And, 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 and you know what, that's only the enemy trying to tear your character down, but you will be rejected. But when you, when you're rejected, that means that's a door that, that, that you know that is shut. So now you don't have to waste your time wondering, is that door open? That means to move on. A lot of times, um, people in general, man or woman, they waste their whole life trying to make somebody happy or please people. And it doesn't work. And then you can't get time back. God can restore the time. But why waste your time in the first place? So when you are rejected, know that that's a part of your process. That's a part of your journey. That's a part of, of what is um, going to happen in life. But that's also a plus for you. Because now you don't have to waste your time. Don't worry about what they think. When I know somebody already rejected me, I I don't worry about their opinion. I don't worry about what they say about me. I don't care if they don't like my hair. I don't care if they don't like my outfit. I don't care what they don't care about me because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And God created me in his image. So I don't have to worry about pleasing anybody else. If they don't like it, oh, well, that's a part of my journey. That's a part of life. I want to say this, that on Patreon, I go deeper into more. I've been actually going deeper on YouTube lately, but I go deeper in on, on Patreon. So if you would like to join Patreon, my Patreon page, I will put the link in the comment section. But don't waste another minute or hour, second, another day trying to please someone who's already rejected you. If they have rejected you and shut the door, a lot of times people even make up excuses of why they rejected you. They just flat out reject you. Because it's something within them. They are either threatened by something they see in you or they're um, or either uh, are intimidated or they just plainly just don't see the beauty in you or the, you know, the um, your your goodness. And that's OK. Sometimes God hides our goodness and our because people will destroy what God has placed on the inside of you. So sometimes God will will make them where they where you're they're They're not either attracted to you or they're just. You know, they reject you, flat out reject you. And it's OK. You'll be all right, because that means that door, that person, that it, that individual is not for you. So keep it moving. God bless you. I pray this message helps you and know that when you are rejected, that means that that's that means that you are showing that's that's basically you're on the right path because Jesus was rejected and you're an heir of Jesus Christ. So you will be rejected as well. And for those that are people that are being liked and everybody loves them. And there's a problem with that because everybody didn't even love Jesus. So if you are rejected, God is good. Hallelujah, Jesus, because that means that that's a part of your journey. That means you're on the right path. God bless you. Be blessed.